Hi guys and welcome back. In this video today I'm going to be drawing a scene from my comic Evergrey. I actually just posted the newest episode um, last night and the scene that's on the left of Bram doing his little thing going huh? Um, that is actually a panel that I did back in September and I had planned on releasing that episode before um, the actual episode that came out after it or whatever. I get, I'm getting confused. But I plan to post that one in September, but I decided that I needed to elaborate on Blight's um, troubles and struggles and her inner thought process a little bit more before I got to Bram. And then I just kind of let it sit in my my file for two or three months and then I was like, you know what? I really need to repaint this or redraw it because the style that I have currently isn't a drastic difference but I think I did improve a little bit in the colors and the way that I had drawn the lines and so I just really wanted to redraw um, that entire page and actually did it a couple of different pages as well um, from the first three pages I think of this episode um, I had done all three of them in September but they just looked old and a little bit discolored for some reason. I don't know. I, my colors were all wrong and I did not like the line work so I just went ahead and redid them just for the sake of uh, making myself feel better and um, I'm actually kind of in the mood to redraw the first episode of Evergrey and I know it's not necessary but I really want to because I feel like Bram looks a lot different from episode one than he does, uh, does sorry, in uh, episode eight that I'm drawing right now and you know it's it's something that doesn't need to be done because I'm always going to be developing as I continue on with the comic and I know that and things are gonna look different than they um, were when I first started and whatnot but I don't know I just I kind of have this urge to redo the first page at least I mean the first episode I'm sorry if I'm a little bit rambly and not making sense I just got off work and it's six in the morning I, uh, I had a midnight shift so my brain is like wonky but I'm not tired yet if that makes sense um, but anyway yeah it's kind of enlightening to see the process um, as you're uh, redoing a page because what might have worked for me back in September does not work for me now and I can just tell all the things that I don't like about it and you know just redoing it made me feel a lot better and I did add some things and I took away other things. Um, I felt like the older page was a little bit too blue for my taste. I actually ended up lightening it to a more of a uh, orangish red color um, because it is supposed to be a sunrise and sometimes you have different color sunrises and uh, the actual background that I'm using for the clouds and the sky are pictures that I took um, of my my outside my house I guess a lot of the uh, the comic pages if I have a really pretty sunrise or sunset and I manage to capture it I, uh, I try to include it in my comic or uh, you know just a little bit of a texture thing um, sometimes I will adjust it but for these ones I really didn't unless I was adding more of a, uh, a glow behind the trees or something like that but yeah the colors just weren't working for me in the older ones so I, I did change those a lot and I did add more shadows to Bram's face in the newer one. I just didn't like the way the the, uh, the lighting was hitting his face in the left one. And the boots looked a little bit weird to me. Um, and I feel like his hair needed a little bit more movement, in my opinion. Instead of just kind of laying on his shoulders. I don't know. Um, I do like drawing hair a lot. It's probably one of my favorite things to do with characters. Um, is the hair... I don't really care for drawing eyes. I feel like they're really difficult for me, even more so than hair. And uh, sometimes mouths get on my nerves, but and noses. I don't know. I just like drawing hair. I guess um, it's just a lot easier for me to do that. Um, I think back in high school, I really liked it too, but obviously, I don't really remember much about that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just kind of working on all the shadows and the highlighting and stuff. Um, it's also part of one of my favorite processes 
other than just doing the lines. I just love playing with shadows and color effects and adding things and making them look more interesting and dynamic and all those other nice adjectives. Um, it just really kind of brings everything together. And when I had first started the comic, I thought about just doing it black and white or just flat colors with minimal shading. And I could have gone that route and it probably would have been for the better, uh, speaking of time-wise, but I don't know, I just, I really felt like full color, full shading and everything was the way to go for me because, I, I don't know, it's, it's something that I wanted to push myself to, just to say that I could accomplish it and, you know, have that kind of backing for myself because I'm like, hey look, I did this and I feel better about myself. But yeah, that's kind of the only reason why it's full color. It's because I want to prove to myself that I can do it. And if that's the reason I have, then so be it. It's going to be that way until I decide enough is enough and just make it super simplistic or dial it down just a little bit. But for now, it's just going to be this way. But updates will probably be once a month. And last month in November, I actually did not post anything uh, comic uh, episode wise you know I was still working on this episode and I still am but I decided to cut it in half because I was like I had not posted anything in November and I did not even realize it until I got an email from webtoons saying oh you didn't update this month here's some things you could do instead I was like oh my god I didn't update what is wrong with me so I decided to cut the episode in half because it was a little bit lengthy I think I have about 22 pages that's supposed to be in the episode, but I cut it in half around 10 pages or so. So the next one will be a little bit longer than this one, hopefully have a little bit more content insight to Bram and Anhaga or Anhaga, however you want to say it. I don't even know if I say Bram's name right, it could be Brom, I don't know, I'm southern so I say things a lot differently than most people would, but you can say it however you like, I don't judge. Um, Anyway, yeah, I uh, I feel like I need to update again later on this month and just try and push out the next few pages as much as possible. Um, I think I have a couple more I need to do. The other ones are still mostly done. I think I've got just a few more pages that I have to completely do and then work on the colors and then finalize them, make sure they all look accurate, resize them, and then... Uh, put them all together and tie it up with string before I can say that I feel accomplished. And then next year will be interesting because it'll be like a whole new year for me and thinking about it like a year ago I didn't even have a comic, I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do, I just didn't even know that this was at all possible. Like I don't even remember what I was doing last year, I think I was just drawing Raylo art a lot of Raylo art because that's all I had to do um, at the time and I still like Raylo but I just don't do that as much anymore because uh, my comic consumes 90% of my free time at home and yeah but one day I will have a set schedule or a set posting time or something but I just need to catch up on what I have currently but yeah um, it's video is actually almost over and you can kind of tell the differences between the two pages a little bit more I think when I put them side by side um, and you can tell if I was successful or not it's up to you it's not necessarily something that needed to be done but I felt like it needed to but yeah if you guys haven't read my latest episode you can go down to my links in the description um, you can follow me on Instagram tumblr Twitter all those other good places Tumblr not so much anymore because of reasons if you uh, follow that nonsense but um yeah I'll have all my links down below you can read my comic leave some nice comments like and subscribe all that good stuff and I'll feel a lot better about myself but in the meantime I hope you all have a great time and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>